Hello YouTube, it's Rubix here with another tutorial for you today and today's video is gonna be about RAM optimizing. Okay, so basically in some computers they don't use all the RAM that they're using on their computer. They're only using part of it. So what you want to do is you want to use every bit that you can. So this helps increase your computer speed in every single way. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that here. Are you going to want for this works for XP, Vista and Windows 7. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to start and you're going to right click computer and hit properties. Once here for XP uh, for I mean 7 for Windows 7 users you want to click advanced system settings. But for XP users it should the uh, system properties should already pop up for you once you right click computer and click properties. So next after you're here you're going to want to go to the uh, performance area and hit settings then over in the performance area and the performance options you're going to want to click advanced. Now once here this is the, uh, right here in this corner virtual memory and the number right here shows how much RAM you are using right now. So um, some people who have like mm, let's say two gigabytes of RAM, uh, but their their computer is only using either 1.2 gigabytes of their RAM. So you could get that extra 800 megabytes right there. So you're gonna want to click change. Then, if yours is like this. Um, some people will have this blank, some won't, but if yours is not blank, um, you have the maximum size. The maximum size is how big your RAM is, and then the initial size is how much you are using right now. You're going to want to change your initial size to your maximum size. Now, example, your maximum size is 2,174, let's say but your initial size is only 1000 something so you're going to want to change your initial size to the same amount as your maximum size so but now for users who do not have it um, typed down in there it mo most likely look like this can't type anything or blank because it is automatic automatically being managed you're going to want to uncheck that box and you want to go over here to the currently allocated and which um, over right here you're going to um, whichever the bigger one is and that that is how much you have so cur the currently allocated right here should be the maximum amount of RAM that you can use on your computer so example this this will say like for you if for people, some people out there, they might say 2,000 something, but you're only using 1,000 something. You're gonna want to change your initial size to the same exact as you're currently allocated. And if you have nothing on your maximum size, you're gonna want to change. Your, you're gonna put on your maximum size the same as you're currently allocated. So your currently allocated maximum size and initial size should be all the same. So and that's about it. You just click set. And for some people, it will it will most likely ask you to restart your computer, and it and you should restart your computer. The effects will take after once you restart. Once you're done, you hit you can click OK, OK, and OK. Then that's it. So thanks for watching YouTube, and I hope that you um, will watch some of my previous videos and some of my upcoming videos so please comment like and subscribe so thank you once again YouTube